All right, you guys, here is my first haul from Kroger on my low spend challenge. Uh, I spent $24.34. I did have a silk almond um, milk and the eight pounds of oranges that were on sale that were out of stock. So I did originally have $30 to get my groceries uh, for free delivered, but because they were out of stock, I still got them. Even though it was under $25, I still got them for free. First thing we got were these pineapples because they were on sale and my kids have been really enjoying pineapple. I got some cucumbers. The tomatoes were on sale, so I grabbed a few. I have some hummus in the fridge, so I wanted to get some baby carrots for that. I have some extra gallons of milk and I was thinking of doing my own yogurt. I haven't made that in a really long time. I used to make it in the crock pot all the time. I do have an Instant Pot that I, I've had since July and I haven't even opened it yet. So I think you can make yogurt in the Instant Pot. I might give it a go, we'll see. I got some avocados and then I had $1.50 off of this, which made it just around $2 something. And this is what I like to use for my soups. Uh, we have stomach issues some of us in the house with like real milk and then there's some of us that don't it doesn't bother so i just use that for our soup to make everyone happy our silk almond creamer there was i believe a dollar something off of that so that's what i got for my low spend month we do have a 65 dollars a week budget and i know that might seem like a lot i just don't want to feel like guilty I, I have done uh, like a low spend month before and I put the budget at 25 and then I would always feel so bad because I always went over and stuff so I just gave myself $65 I think I can easily stay under that and if I can that's great and if I don't that's fine that's very doable for my family we are stocked up on pretty much everything just got some sale and produce uh, deals um, I do want to go into Kroger maybe tomorrow and look for those oranges because they were a fabulous deal. They were eight pounds for $3.99. So if I'm in there and I see some more like salads and stuff that I marked down, I'm going to grab those. If I go, I'll bring you guys along. But if I don't, then that just means I didn't go. I wasn't going to go shop at Safeway, even though they have a 10 off of 50 because I didn't want to spend $50, but I ended up running into it this morning for two things let me show you and it was a five dollar friday deal so that's why i went in all right so this is what i got <laughs> two bowls of convenient cut up fruit and they were five dollars each so i spent a total of ten dollars at safeway so i'm still like under 35 dollars for the week thus far the reason why i got this is because i feel like we've just had so much chocolate and so many biscuits and cookies and desserts and just like rich creamy things <laughs> and if this is cut up and ready to go like this I know my kids will eat it and at this point I don't know if it's cheaper to just get it this way for five dollars the strawberries and um, I know they had strawberries a pound for $3.99 so like four bucks just on that and then I got all the other fruit so I grabbed these, these were 32 ounces. They were, they're actually a very decent size. I don't know if you can tell, but they're a very good size. They also had just watermelon, just pineapple, but because I got these two pineapples, I figured I don't need just the pineapple. So just a little bit of mixed fruit. My kids already got into it. I know they're gonna eat it. And I don't feel bad about getting it. I usually don't buy convenient foods like this. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I do buy like bagged salad kits that are ready to go. But I mean like the fruit, but I just figured at $5 each and I know my kids have been craving it. And like when we had a pineapple this week, my husband cut it, it was gone within like minutes. I feel like our body needs some fresh fruit, if that makes sense. And I'm super happy about getting those. I drove to Safeway, which is literally like maybe three minutes away from my house, <laughs> not even five minutes, and just grabbed these. I went in and out and there was only a few on the shelf because I knew... If I go later in the day, that they're going to be gone. So I'm super happy with that. And that's my little haul this week. It's nothing interesting, but we are doing a low spend month. So I feel like it's not bad. We got a lot of good deals this far. And like I said, I'll keep you posted if we end up buying anything else. All right, you guys. So my total for this week was $34.70 from Kroger. And then just those two little fruit bowls from Safeway. 
we're way under budget and I'm not surprised because it's the first week of the pantry challenge and everything is going so easy because we're stocked up on everything. It might get a little bit harder and I'll be spending probably a lot more throughout <laughs> this challenge, but so far it's pretty easy. So um, all I did was the Kroger haul and then those two bowls of fruit from, from Safeway. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're finding it easy or hard uh, to stay on your budget if you're doing the pantry challenge. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.